Hello, in this video, we're going to look at how to solve for the utility maximizing amount of insurance coverage. Here's our setup. If healthy, a person's wealth is 200000 If sick, a person's wealth is 100000 The probability of being sick is 25%. We're going to assume that insurance markets are competitive and insurance companies earn zero long-run economic profit. The insurance company pays out benefit B if a loss occurs. The insurance company charges a premium P. This is an actuarially fair premium and equals the size of the expected claims, where the expected claims is a probability of the loss times the benefits paid out from the loss, so 0.25 times B. In other words, the consumer pays 25 cents for each $1 of insurance coverage. With insurance and the consumer is healthy, wealth will equal $200,000 minus the premium. With insurance and sick, wealth will equal $100,000 plus the insurance benefits minus the insurance premium. And this person has a utility function given by the natural log of W or wealth. The expected utility with insurance is going to look like this. There's a 75% chance that the person will be healthy and that person will then have $200,000 of wealth and will be paying for insurance, the premium minus P. And there's a 25% chance this person will be sick. If the person is sick, their wealth will be $100,000, but they'll get this insurance benefit. And then once again, minus the premium that they'll have to pay. Recall that the premium equals 0 0.25 times B, or if we were to solve for B, the benefit, the benefit equals four times the premium. And we're gonna make a substitution where we see B here in the expected utility function, we're going to replace that with 4 times P. So making that substitution, and then simplifying up here a little bit, we get this result. And now we're going to maximize expected utility with respect to the premium. So taking the derivative of the expected utility function with respect to the premium, we get back this result, minus 0 0.75 divided by 200,000 minus P. This minus 0 0.75 is this 0 0.75 times the derivative of minus P, which is just minus 1. And this last term over here, we get 0 0.75 divided by 100,000 plus 3P where this 0 0.75 is coming from 0 0.25 times a derivative of 3p. Derivative of 3p is just 3, so you're left with this 0 0.75, 3 times 0 0.25. We're maximizing, so set this result equal to 0. And now we're going to solve for p. So moving some things around. The 0 0.75s on each side cancel. And now if we multiply everything through by 200,000 minus the premium and 100,000 plus 3 times the premium, we get this result. Collecting our premium terms and now dividing through by 4, this person will spend $25,000 on insurance. So this person spends 25000 on insurance coverage, P equals 25000 And given that P equals 0.25B, or 4P equals B, this person will be purchasing $100,000 of coverage. So if there's a loss, this person will receive $100,000. So this $25,000 insurance premium provides $100,000 of coverage in the event of a loss. This person buys full coverage insurance or enough insurance to cover the entire loss if sick. Recall if this person was wealthy, they had $200,000. If sick, their wealth would fall by 100000 So this is full coverage insurance. So to maximize utility, this risk-averse person buys full coverage insurance. 
So healthy with insurance, the person's wealth will be 200,000 minus the premium or 175,000. If the person is sick with insurance, they'll have $100,000 of wealth, but they'll get this $100,000 of insurance payout and then subtract out the premium. They'll once again be left with $175,000. All right, that's it. Hope you found this video helpful.